eh, 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 eh. Knock, knock, yeah. What? Who's there? Stinger. Stinger who? A bird. Hmm? A bird so smart that it can knock the stinger out of a bee so that it can eat it. Well, let's find out about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now you have so many plants and animals. <laughs> Hey, hello. So, I'm actually out here observing for a very brilliant uh, blue bird called the bee eater. Right, and it's actually a very common bird in our more wooded areas. And they're actually right there. You can see some over there. We are gonna just dive straight into it because we've got some bee eaters in action. So, in Singapore, we are able to find two species of bee eaters, right? And it's very simple to tell them apart. Okay, you see, uh, you've got blue colour neck, it's the blue-throated bee-eater, right? And then if you don't have blue colour neck, it's the blue-tailed bee-eater. And clearly, they are named this way because, obviously, they eat bees. So, bees and wasps make up most of their diet, right? But they do eat butterflies and dragonflies and Sometimes, they are also seen to dive into water bodies, like what I've captured here. Uh, but it's still not fully documented if they are hunting for water insects or small fish or if they're just bathing. But like I mentioned, most of the time, these birds will hunt up in the air for bees. And the whole process is low-key quite brilliant, right? If you think about it, bees and wasps, they actually fly quite fast. And bees and wasps, they have stingers, right? So, okay, I'm going to break it down for you. The process of the bee eaters starts like this. First, okay, this move quite expected, but these birds, they will actually perch on a branch, use their eye power, and they'll first look out for bees. And then when they spot the target, as you're about to see, they'll go in for the kill super fast. So they'll hunt for these bees and wasps mid-air just by capping them with their beaks. Okay, but they won't eat it first because they'll actually immediately circle back to their perch and okay, here's the fun part, you see, ah? they will knock the bees on the branch so that its stinger is knocked off and removed. And just like that, a yummy and now also painless meal. Now, if you remember in our last episode, we talked about roosting and nesting and how not all birds lay eggs in a nest, right? Well, the fun doesn't end with these bee eaters, right? Because these cutie pies, they actually lay their eggs in self-made tunnels underground. Now, I don't really have uh, footage of these tunnels because there are small little holes that go underground. Uh, but basically, these bee eaters will actually dig up the ground and make these tunnels themselves and they will nest communally. And when the eggs are laid already, right, the females will actually stay in these underground nests for the whole incubation period, which is about 20 to 30 days. So, if you think about it, they are like birds underground that will stay underground for like a whole month. Oh and so during the process, the males will actually come into the tunnels to come and feed the females all until the eggs hatch, right? And from that point on, you know, just now I said that they nest communally, right? So the feeding of the chicks, it, it's a bit more like chapalang. So the birds will like help each other out and just feed all the chicks that's within the nests. Ah, team power. But yes, if you don't already know these birds, they are definitely one of my favourites. From them, obviously looking so elegant and beautiful and you know, it's a, it's a blue bird. Huh? And on top of that, they really take you along this whole journey. From like the way they hunt like so fast and how they de-venom a bee, to how a lot of them are just underground, right? They really are a truly amazing bird. So the next time when you are out and about, see if you can spot these birds hunting up in the sky for them yummy bees. And that's it. This marks the end of today's, you know, pretty short video. But before we leave, I'd like to give a big shout out to our patrons. Mr. Chu, Mr. Chu, Spot Man, Juno, no, 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 England, HR Queen, Limpet, Muffin, Jets, Pingu, Master, Joblock, Tango, Amma, Delo, Neko, Sama, Uncle Sam, Amelia, Uncle Kyung, Fauzi, Wedden, or Cooked Spider, Low Eli, Big Two Circles, Amy, Stacey, Lu, Quack Quack, Mama and Momo, Pixel, and Amma. Thank you so much for supporting this channel directly. And if you would like to do the same, you can find the link to my Patreon down in the description below. Do also follow me on all my other social media platforms and subscribe to watch more videos of our local ecology. 
Thanks again for watching and remember, keep your eyes peeled because when you walk, uh, can you open your eyes? You know, uh, stop knocking into things, banging into things. Uh, next time you knock into things, right? I knock you, I knock, knock you like those bee eaters. Uh. Knock you away. Eh. Okay, kidding. Okay, bye-bye.